The most common reason I'm contacted by government contractors regarding their insurance program stems from being non-renewed by their current insurance carrier. Most are confused since they have been with their insurance company for a few years and in their mind, nothing has changed. At least, that's what they think. Reasons vary for the non-renewal, but it's usually because the underwriter re-underwrote the GovCon company and discovered that they actually are working in government contracting. This is actually pretty common. There are a host of reasons why the underwriter is issuing the non-renewal notice, but it really puts the GovCon company in a bind, especially if the renewal is fast approaching. If you want to avoid the dreaded non-renewal notice, stay tuned as I dive into several points that could not only prevent this from happening, but could potentially save on additional time, money, and resources on your current or upcoming insurance renewal on this episode of Risk Reconnaissance. Hi, it's Brian Smith for Risk Reconnaissance. Of course, I'm the GovCon Insurance Guy with the Insurance Office of America. For government contractors, non-renewal notices unfortunately can be common. Stemming from late payment of premium, a change in operations, or the insurance company has decided to go into a different direction can all be reason why this could occur. Although it's true, it's nonetheless comforting to you as a GovCon organization. To avoid this from happening for your government contracting company, consider the eight following points. Number one, ensure your operations are accurately understood by your insurance professional and subsequently the underwriter. This is probably the most common reason government contractors are non-renewed on the commercial insurance. Here's why. The operations your company performs will not typically fall under the same commercial operations that the insurance teams are used to. When this happens, they begin to make assumptions about your work and their overall risk of loss as you as their client. Being clear about what you do and what you don't do as a company can make a big difference in not only renewing your insurance, but the premiums and their levels as well. Number two, ask your insurance professional for markets that routinely work with government contractors. If your agent or broker is familiar with GovCon companies, he or she should be able to tell you the insurance companies that most frequently work with government contractors. If not, then not only will the number of declinations be high, but valuable time will be wasted. Having a clear understanding of the markets is very important for you but more importantly for your insurance professional. Make sure they know what they're talking about. Number three, you should write an operational description of your company that is three to five sentences in length. Make sure to clarify what your company does in the most simple terms possible. Without your input, the insurance professional will simply go to your website and cut and paste an operational description from there. If they aren't careful, they may include information that is no longer relevant. Assuming, of course, the website is not up to date, resulting in a poorly understood risk for the underwriter. Now, speaking of websites, I recently did a segment on GovCon websites, and that will be added in the comments section below in the video. You can take a look at that as well. Number four, if you have a professional liability policy, review the description of operations that are listed in the policy for accuracy, making sure it covers what you actually do. There are many times where this is simply wrong, resulting in a potential lack of coverage if the details are wrong and possibly a claim denial. This is pretty important. Number five, request your insurance professional seek market alternatives every three to five years. Now, don't misunderstand me here. I fully support a long-standing professional relationship with insurance companies. I am simply stating that other insurance companies may have penetrated the government contracting arena offering comprehensive coverage. Insurance is an ever-evolving and making sure that you have the right company in place is truly a sound business practice. Number six, keep your exposures current and up to date. 
Sounds simple, right? But let's not fool ourselves. Your business is evolving. Operations are changing and revenues go up and down. Keeping all this together and accurate is not always an easy task. When you have changes, let your insurance professional know so they can make sure they are covered and accounted for on your insurance policies. This can also have an impact on your insurance premium, especially at audit. Number seven, work with your workers' compensation auditor, clarifying what work is performed if they ask. When a workers' compensation audit is performed, the auditor not only verifies the payroll amounts, but what the work and what is actually being done by the various employees covered by the policy. If there is an unknown exposure that is uncovered at audit, the underwriter, after hearing about this, may feel that they are being misled, potentially challenging your credibility and ultimately your renewal. Be prepared to review your workers' comp policy with your insurance agent or broker, making sure no discrepancies are identified, and if they are, they're being corrected. And finally, number eight, seek professionals that concentrate their insurance programs on government contractors. Believe it or not, working with an insurance professional or any professional for that matter that focuses on government contracting can and does make a big difference. If your insurance agent or broker stumbled on your government contracting business and doesn't represent other GovCon companies, you may want to seek a viable alternative with a group or team of professionals that actually work exclusively in this area. In summary, I covered eight tips to help your GovCon company avoid commercial insurance non-renewals and potentially save thousands of dollars on your premium. I certainly hope that this six minute video was valuable and that you got something out of it. For Risk Reconnaissance and the Insurance Office of America, I'm Brian Smith.